Hi, welcome everybody again. I'm here with more like distressing news. Honestly, it's not my intention to depress you. Just remember Romans 8, 28, uh, Ephesians, uh, Jeremiah 29, 11 to 13. Anyway, so uh, conflict ignites anti-Armenian sentiment is what I read from persecution.org, which is the website of international Christian concern. So it's been reported and it has been learned by Christian Concern that anti-Armenian sentiment has risen across Turkish influenced areas since a large scale military operation involving Azerbaijan, Turkey and Armenia began on September 27th. So uh, just as an aside, Armenia is 97% Christian and of course um, Azerbaijan, Turkey and um, Syria certainly are not. Uh, this sentiment is expressed through harassment, intimidation, hate speech, threats, abuse and other forms of violent confrontation. The climate of hatred is primarily driven by Turkey, I read, which committed a genocide against the Armenian community in the early 20th century. And I'll put a link in the description um, to information about that genocide. Um, that, that conflict displaced survivors throughout the region. Turkey pursues an anti-Armenian strategy, which I would... Uh, also translate as anti-Christian um, for political and military gains in the surrounding region. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights reports, and I'll link to that report also, that more than 1,000 Turkish-backed militants were transferred to Azerbaijan by Turkey, which is currently preparing the second batch of fighters for transfer. These fighters are from northern Syria, which had a large concentration of Armenians, particularly in Tel Abiyad. The genocide conducted as part of Turkey's peace spring operation in October 2019 led to the displacement of most Syrian Armenians. International Christian concern is alarmed that these are the fighters whose services are utilised by Azerbaijan towards the Republic of Armenia. The subsequent climate of hatred towards Armenians, and particularly Turkish Armenians, bears resemblance to historical trends of persecution. There's a name coming up which I'm embarrassed to try, but I'm going to do it anyway. Omar Farouk Gurjaliogu, Lioglu, HDB Kocayeli Party and member of the Human Rights Inquiry Committee tweeted the following question to the authorities. Do you want to repeat events like the new September 6th or 7th incidents? His question refers to the 1955 Istanbul pogrom um, against religious minorities. So um, there are numerous examples, and I mean numerous examples here, which I won't read out, but I will for sure link in the description. One Armenian wrote in an opinion um, a, a piece for Agos, I've been living in Turkey for many years and I consider the place where I live to be my home. This is the first time I'm afraid in my own country, or this country, sorry, which has never been a safe place for Armenians. Um, and then, yeah, so Armenians were one of the most targeted groups for hate speech in Turkish media, according to the 2019 Harant Dink Media Monitoring Report. This often leads to the targeting of churches. So even though they're referenced as Armenian churches, they are, of course, churches, which is uh, first and foremost for Christians. Um, individuals, graves, which is just petty, um, and other historic sites. Turkey, as we know at the moment, has a... Uh, somewhat of a campaign to close and reassign um, historic churches. That's um, additional to the report. So this often leads to the targeting of Armenian churches, individuals, graves, and Turkey is recommended by the United States Commission on International Religious Freedom for inclusion on the special watch list. So they are being um, identified as a cause for concern. Uh, and yeah, so there's another statement from somebody at ICC. What I would like you to do, please find it in your heart to pray for Armenians, whether they're at home, whether they're in Turkey, whether they're abroad, um, wherever they are. They are our brothers and sisters. They are staunchly um, and majority Christian. Um, so no matter the denomination or the differences in doctrine, which I'm going to make another video on later on, I'd like you to consider them as your brothers and sisters. I do, for sure, and God does. So please do pray for them. Pray for their safety, pray that the Holy Spirit would pour himself out onto their persecutors and rid them of the delusion that um, they are justified in God's sight, uh, um, you know, doing these things to the body of Christ. All right, God bless you and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.